My name is Kerry Kellett and I'm a knowledge broker. This means that it's my job to be the liaison between the people who produce research and those who use it. I'm an officer in the Commonwealth Department of Health and in my current role I work closely with the universities to build linkages between researchers and policymakers. I inform policymakers in the department about the primary healthcare research that is available to them and I educate researchers about how to make their work more accessible and meaningful to policymakers. Officers working on primary healthcare in the department are really interested in keeping up to date with relevant primary healthcare research and research findings. In fact, knowledge exchange is an important part of the policy development process. However, it is not always easy for policymakers to find the time to read lengthy research reports and publications. To make your research accessible and meaningful to policymakers, it needs to be succinct, relevant, and no more than two pages long. In some cases, policy development occurs over a reasonably long period of time, includes stakeholder consultation, and incorporates the consideration of a wide range of evidence. What is also common is that policy advice is needed within a very short space of time. This means that policymakers are often working to very tight deadlines. No matter what the time frame, when providing policy advice to ministers, there are a series of issues policymakers need to address. These are, what is the problem? What is the background to the problem? What are the possible solutions and how could these be implemented? What are the risks and sensitivities? What are the potential costs? And what is the recommended way forward and why? So when constructing your two-page summary, it is very helpful to adopt a similar structure addressing the same range of issues wherever possible. In summary, if you want your research to make a difference, start by making it relevant, timely, easy to read and accessible to a non-specialist audience.